We begin tonight with our 17 follow-up file and new information on that deadly crash involving two Bakersfield police officers and another vehicle. Police have kept details secret about this crash, but 17 News has learned that one officer might face manslaughter charges in connection with that crash. 17's Michaela Armstrong has been investigating and joins us in studio now with the latest on what we know. Michaela. After weeks of unanswered questions from police about this deadly crash, these court documents give a first glimpse into the investigation by Highway Patrol. However, both BPD and CHP had no comment, saying the case is still under investigation. It has been nearly three weeks since the fatal crash involving BPD and another vehicle on South Vineland in Muller Roads. And 17 News has obtained court documents filed by the Highway Patrol stating based on the circumstances of the collision, the driver of the Ford Taurus was in violation of Penal Code Section 192C1, also known as gross vehicular manslaughter, which requires proof that the driver acted with gross negligence. That Ford Taurus was a marked BPD car. There were two officers in the car, but BPD and CHP refused to say who was driving the car. Attorney Daniel Rodriguez, who was representing the family of one of the victims, Mario Lares, who was killed during the crash, says gross negligence is obvious. If he was going 70, 75 miles per hour, 80 or even more, that's not just mere negligence, simple negligence, that's gross negligence. Okay. Rodriguez says his investigation proves the officers never stopped at the stop sign the morning of the crash. Based on the skid marks and the preliminary information, there's no way it could have gotten to that speed from stopping and then accelerating. So that tells us, common sense tells us, that he never stopped at the stop sign. If it was you or I, was that kind of information or evidence against us? Would there be any question that we would be charged with vehicular manslaughter. Now it is up to the district attorney to decide whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony. They have the ultimate say, the last word on the matter, not the CHP. However, he believes with the evidence, the choice is easy. The question becomes, is he going to be treated, is this officer going to be treated like he's above the law because he's got a badge? Is he going to get a free pass? Or is he going to be treated the way you and I would be treated. We'll continue to follow the latest on this crash and we will provide updates as we learn more. Michaela Armstrong, 17 News. All right, Michaela, thank you. And this footnote now, since that crash, the Highway Patrol has declined to answer even basic questions about the incident, including which officer was driving, whether or not the officers were wearing safety belts, if the police car's emergency lights and siren were activated, and if anyone involved in the accident was given a drug or alcohol test. You can find more on this story on our website, kget.com.